Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Tanks Blitz. Um, and today it won't be a um, it won't be a, a gameplay video. Instead, this will be talking about the new update, update uh, 5.5, uh, I believe the new update is, which adds in uh, some new things and takes away some old ones. Um, and so, this will just be what do I think of the update? Well, I think it's a bit meh. It's pretty controversial for good reason um they've got some good things in but then they've also got some really bad and strange decisions in there for first of all the things that i like um we've got a new line of german heavies we've got um super heavies leading up to the Maoshin, um which then leads on to the mouse so for tier 8 we've got the vk 1001p um which is a pretty nice little super heavy well not really not really little but yeah it's a it's a decent enough looking tank and i will be interested in getting all of these um and then we've got the motion at tier 9 so basically the mouse prototype i guess um which as you can see has got a cupola and some other stuff um and yeah these are some pretty interesting uh, super heavies we've got you know top tier gun for the Maoshin, and we got the VK here, which also gets a 128, and yeah, that's some pretty interesting stuff. Um, I don't think there's anything else new in the tech tree that's actually been added. Oh no, wait, I tell the lie. The VK um, 4502B leads to the uh, 72.01K, um, which is a, a pretty interesting rear turreted heavy, and I suppose it fits in because the VK is a rear turreted heavy, um, or well, the um, 4502B is at least a rear turreted heavy, so... Um, I mean, it sort of makes sense that this has been added in. So, yeah, it, they've got another nice heavy tank um, for the Germans up here, making it into the triplets of um, of top-tier tanks there. Um, but now we come to um, the other major change for this new update, 5.5, which is the low-tier rebalance up to, yes, tier 4. Yes, I think it's up to tier 4. Yeah, up to tier 4. Yeah, up to tier four, they've rebalanced the they've rebalanced the territory. So um, maybe even tier five is tier five changed? I don't know. Let's have a look. Nah, tier five looks pretty normal. I think. Yeah, t tier five looks pretty. Yeah, the, the upper tiers from tier five on look pretty normal. Let me just double check because I haven't actually been in this update for a while sham of fire's been removed yeah um but basically they've removed some tanks and they've added in some other ones um tanks that they've removed are now these collectors of tanks basically they're now just um special collectors tanks for those people who still have the tanks before the update which is nice they haven't completely removed them from the game if you have them then you get to keep them but um if you didn't have them before the update uh too bad because you ain't gonna get them anymore um but you can now sell tanks for gold these collectors tanks um you can now sell them for gold um which is nice i don't know if it's No, it's not for all the tanks. Um, so premium tanks still sell for credits, such as the Sturve or the Churchill here. But any of the collector's tanks, for example, they removed the VK3002M, um, and they instead what bumped up the VK to tier 6. Either that or they split it. Um, but yeah, so, that, so they've removed this tank, but of course I still had it. Um, and another thing is that they removed the Sherman 5 as well, so I've still got the old Sherman 5 here, and they also removed the old Churchill gun carrier, which um, I don't think many people are going to miss, really. Um, but the other thing is the biggest cause of controversy, which is the rebalance of tiers 4 and below. As you can see, the AMX-40 is now also not in the game anymore. Well, it is in the game, it's just not available for purchase. Um... But as you can see, tier 3 and below has been completely rebalanced. As you can see, there's now a single line for all of the nations. So the French single line, uh, yeah, nothing much has actually changed really for China or Japan because they're all basically a single line. Although I believe that the Chinese, no, it's the Japanese, I think they had a, big, a bigger line than this, but I couldn't really tell you. I've never, as you can see, I haven't played the Japanese tanks at all. Um, but as you can see, the British their line completely changed, Russians completely changed, German completely changed, American completely changed. 
a lot of these tanks have been removed and a lot of tanks have been changed around in their tiering. But the idea for Wargaming was that they would streamline it and make it easier for new players, is what they said they're doing with this rebalance there, making it better for new players, making it easier for new players to understand the game, because um, they all of a sudden get thrown in with tank destroyers and things. Um, oh god, that means the martyr and everything's gone. Oh god. Yeah, all of the Russian things have gone. SU-85B is there, yeah, as usual. SU-76, that's gone. It's a shame, because I might have wanted the SU-76. I mean, the, the other thing's gone. I mean, for the T-18 is no longer with us, but, I mean, it, it it's now not nearly as difficult for me to kill as it used to be, because I since know the weak spot of the T-18. But, I mean... Just a whole load of tanks have been removed. As you can see, a bunch of the cruisers have been removed. Cruiser 1 is gone. And so we're only left with the three cruisers now, which is a shame. Um, but not only have they removed these tanks, which doesn't make sense at all, because the whole idea was that you would get past Tier 1 pretty quick and then you would be able to discover your you know, your favourite playstyle if you want to be a sneaky tank destroyer or if you want to be a fast little light tank that's driving around the battlefield or whether you want to be, you know, a, a medium tank, you know, this sort of mix or a, a basically heavy, which is what the Panzer and some of the French things are. Um, but now they've just made it more streamlined and easier for new players because another thing they were talking about is auto cannons. Um, you know, players didn't understand auto cannon systems and stuff like that and then it, it's so they've sort of rebalanced a whole bunch of things um, which I really do not get um, a, a gripe that's with me is that as you can see all of these tanks I had decked out in camo consumables um, you know all the ammunition that I needed but now all of a sudden um, yeah everything's been stripped off my tank for some strange reason so all the camos that I had on my tank, for, so for example, the T1, uh, T1E6, one I had this camo on for the Wargaming Fest, the really rusted camo, but now I've got to re-equip that onto my T18. I have to do this for all of my Tier 2s, all of my Tier 3s, and the other Tier 4s and other tanks that have been removed, such as the AMX-40, um, the Sherman 5, as you can see, that's been changed, um, and also the VK and the um, Churchill. I no longer have the camos on there, nor do I have consumables, nor provisions, nor even ammunition in my tanks. And that all adds up. I'm going to lose probably about a million credits, maybe more, um, just redecking out all of my tanks, buying all the upgrades again, buying the camos again. While well, the camos, I don't think it actually cost anything for most of these tanks um, but you know buying all the equipment all of the upgrades all the consumables all the ammo all the premium ammo all the things that you need to make the tank functional and they've just got away with that and basically just done a hard reset on all the tanks they've just gone right we're slating it all starting fresh you're going to have to upgrade your tanks again luckily the higher tier ones haven't actually been changed for example the amx 40 i've still got it maxed out that will be why the AMX-40 doesn't have any other upgrades. It's now stuck as that. Does that mean the Sherman 5 doesn't have any upgrades? Have they just, like, instantly just maxed it? I think they have, because they're collector's edition, so they're technically, like, premium things. That means the VK won't have any premium... Yeah, they basic. Okay, so they're basically decked out all the high-tier ones, right? Okay. But, for the low-tier things, for example, the Cruiser 4... That's still in the game, actually. Yay. Um... What about something low tier? Cruiser 1, for example. Here's the Cruiser 1. Um, yeah, okay. So the Cruiser 1, it, you don't have any upgrades on. That's it. That's done. The um, Panzer Jaeger, again, single thing. Oh, God, no. FTAC. No. No. They got rid of the meme gun. No. What will I do? That's the only reason I like this thing. No. Okay, that's just made it worse. This thing doesn't have... Oh, no. Oh, no. This thing doesn't have the gun. None of them have the guns. This thing doesn't have... Why do I even have this thing? Why do I have this thing? I don't remember having this thing in my garage. The hell have I got you? It's 
strange. With a 75% crit. What? 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 I never purchased you. What are you doing in my garage? What are you doing in my garage? I never purchased you. I've gained tanks. What is this? Oh, God. Oh. Okay, I've still got the 40 mil pom pom. But, uh, yeah, anyway, going back to avoiding the fact that I've suddenly gained tanks in my garage. Have they just... Uh, uh, what? Why have I... I'm confused at why I have these tanks in my garage. Um... Okay, strange. Um, but yeah, so uh, going back to my original point, these things have now been like maxed out upgraded. Some people, such as myself, didn't like the max tier upgrades on them. For example, I preferred having the 25mm um, meme gun that's on the FTAC. I preferred that gun that's on there. The D1, I preferred the six-shot autocannon that was on the D1 over the solid-shot gun. Um, universal carry, I don't, don't really mind, but, I mean, for example, oh no, that means that the howitzer is probably going to be gone from my cruiser. Where is my cruiser? Here's my cruiser. No, that's a different cruiser. No, it is a low tier cruiser. It's the tier 2 cruiser. Is it? No, I swear it's a higher tier cruiser. But on one of these tanks, I think it might have been the cruiser 2 or the cruiser 1. Cruiser 1's just been slated from the game. Cruiser 1 just isn't here anymore. Oh no, it is here. But... Okay, in which case, the Cruiser 1, we've lost the howitzer. That was the best thing about the about the Cruiser 1 or the Cruiser 2, was that we had the howitzer on it. That's now gone. Confusing for new players, that's now gone. Um, and just all of these tanks have just been hard reset. We've lost all of the upgrades on them, we've lost all the camos, they've all just been maxed out, and that's got rid of a lot of playstyle options, which means that lots of people like myself who like to play these tanks purely because of their craziness factor not necessarily because they were a good factor of the tank but because they were fun to use have now just sort of gone um also i think i've just noticed something oh no how goes tier one yeah i've been avoiding tier ones as you can as you can see and i have lost some tanks on these on on my roster here i've lost the panzer two and i've lost a couple of other things that's because tier ones aren't in the game anymore no your ftac uh, sorry, your your FT, your LOL tractor, your MS1, all of your favourite tanks, they've all now been replaced. They're all now low. All of these tanks are now Tier 1 tanks. For example, the Panzer II, this is now Tier 1. The VAE, this is now Tier 1. They've put the R35 at Tier 1. They've put a tank with... Okay, they've nerfed the armour, but it had like 40 mil of armour... And they put it at tier one. For example, the uh, the Panzer S35 that has 40 mil, and this is still tier two. But yet, tier one, this thing had about 40 mil of armor, and this is now down here. And you're saying that's not confusing to new players. Not only that, as you can see, I had this thing max upgraded. I have this. What is this on my VAE? Like, I now have to just purchase back these things. Well, maybe not purchase, but at least we don't have to repurchase the upgrades that we had. But, you know, I've now got to set up all of my tanks again. I've got to put all of the max all of the max modules on there. Oh, good. I can, I can at least keep this thing in its historical thing. But, for example, looking at the hard go, this thing, I had the Girls and Panzer skin on here, just because it's a decent enough camo, and I got it with the Kuro. But, I've now got to re-deck out all of my tanks again. This thing, for example, I've got to put on the... I've got to put on the turret and the gun. This thing, I've got to set up the ammo. There is no premium ammo, so... Yeah, if you're using, for example, the Panzer II here with the 2 centimeter flak, which has got... Oh, they've even changed the fire thing. Oh, no, there you go. 44 average pen. So they've buffed the pen just so that you can deal with the R35, which is not confusing to new players. And and yet, this is a good idea? Why? I don't think it was confusing to new players. You just learned that autocannons have a burst fire and that they take longer than something with a single shot. And you say that autocannons are confusing to new players, but yet so you put them at tier 1 with autocannons. 
why. It's like I've now got to reset up all of my things again. Consumables, I've got to put that on there. There is no, there's there's no um, adrenaline or anything. So all this is going to do is make it more confusing for new players just further up in the tiers. So the Harper tiers will start dying out quicker rather than low tiers because people will get from these low tiers where they only have a single line of progression and they've now got to you know, do all that again. So it's like, why the low tier rebalance? There's not really any idea. And was the best way of doing it just doing a Thanos snap, but about three times, and just nuking most of the low tier tech tree? For example, people liked their martyrs, and yes, we still have the martyrs, but they're all now like max tier. They're all now like maxed up. For example, the D1 was fun with the auto cannon, but auto cannons are confusing to new players, so we've got rid of it. We've got rid of the 25 millimeter, but yet we've kept two centimeter flax in the game. Um, I mean, for example, T1 E6. This has still got its auto cannon, but yet this isn't confusing to new players. Why? It's still an auto cannon. It's still doing lots of damage, and it's like, it is, why is this? What have you done? I mean. Not only have we now got to reset all of our tanks, and I've gained tanks magically, like this thing, why have I got this thing here? Um, but not only that, we've now got to reset up all of our tanks with ammo, consumables, yeah, like camo and stuff. For what reason? It's like, we surely you've just changed it over slightly. You've just changed the name to blue. And... and taken out all of the researchable things but surely that shouldn't make a difference but yet no our things have just been completely changed and not only that I've lost my 25 mil for this thing so I'm stuck with a 47 which is nowhere near as fun to play than that crazy 12 shot 25 mil that we used to have and it's like why can't you just See, the, another thing is that they've changed these tanks to collector's tanks, but yet they've removed all the options for them, like their premium tanks. And yes, premium tanks, they're meant to be, you know, playable like that. You don't have to unlock anything, but yet some of them you do. For example, the Churchill, which has got two different guns, so you can have the two different playstyles. Why can't you leave that with some of our low-tier tanks? So, again, for example, the low tier cruiser that had the, the for example this thing which still had the howitzer why can't you leave us with the howitzer yes again howitzer's confusing to new players players don't know what high explosive is well they'll learn pretty quickly because otherwise they're going to get up the tiers to something which does have a howitzer which I'm now not going to be able to find anything which has a howitzer Churchill 1 that has a howitzer I did it did, and then they got rid of it. Why has my Churchill been defaulted? What? I've lost the upgrade. I've lost all of the upgrades on all of my tanks. Why? Is this just a problem for me, or is this for everyone? Why has everything been hard reset? Hang on, I need to investigate this. Or well, something else. Panther. Panther is still maxed here. Right, okay, that's still upgraded. That's still upgraded. That's still upgraded. Right, okay. How far down does this go? Tier 6? Is it Tier 6 and below? Sam Jackson. No, that's still got its thing. That's still got its thing. Why have I got this in my garage? I didn't ask for this in my garage. Why have, why have I got the 88 in my garage? Oh, that's, uh, why have I got this in the garage? Have they got rid of the autocannon? For the, no, it's the 87 which has the autocannon. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, this thing this thing still has the auto cannon. Why have I gained tanks? They've just given me tanks and just gone, here you go. Enjoy. Thanks, Wargaming. But yeah. This update is very weird. And I don't know why they decided that this would be a good idea to do. Because it's just This is confusing to 
existing players, let alone non-existing players, I've drained a crusader. Like, where has my crusader come from? I never asked for a crusader. I mean, thanks, I was going to get the crusader anyway now that it's in the game, but... Uh, why? I never had the crusader before. Ah, crusaders replace the Sherman, right. That's why I've gained tanks, because they've replaced the old tanks and they've given me the new tanks. Right, okay, that makes sense, but I still don't know why all of my tanks have just been slated and, and changed. Such as the Churchill 1. Surely nothing's replaced the Churchill 1. No, nothing's replaced the Churchill 1. But yet I've now lost my upgrades on it, and I now have to rebuy all the upgrades again. Why? I've got to remount the things. Churchill. Right, okay, the other Churchill's been done at least. Matilda, there you go. Again, Matilda. Matilda has now just been downgraded to its bottom spec. Why? Couldn't they have just left it how it is? No. Because that's wargaming. Look, and now we've got premium ammo. Players are going to have to learn premium ammo. Yeah, okay, great. They would have had to have done that anyway, even at low tiers. But no, we'll just get rid of low tiers. We'll just change it to baby's first tank at the low tiers. And then when they get to tier 4, oh yeah, by the way, there's all of these mechanics in the game. Ha! Bet you would have liked to have known that when you first came to the game. But yeah, so now now we've got this. And, and that's, yeah, great. Oh, of course, you can only have one on each. And yeah, I don't know why they've just done this. It's just mm, uncalled for. It's just like, why do I? Why do we need to do this? But hey, there we go. They've made the rules. M5 Stewart again. Another tank being completely downgraded to bottom spec. Why? I don't know. And it's just. A very strange update. I don't know why they've decided to do this. They've just slated all the tanks, so now we have to repurchase our ammo from which we probably don't have any. From which we probably haven't actually got any refund for. Um, so we're just sort of wasting money again, rebuying the things that we had previously for, for no reason. And I, I don't know why. Look, I've got to reput camo, I've got to put back consumables, ammo on all of these tanks. Why? It's just a badly implemented update. I suppose it was kind of doing the right thing for the new players, but they've just done it so wrong. Why have you done this wargaming? It does not make any sense at all. But hey, I've probably ranted on for long enough, but this new update is just... Why? It was like that with the new equipment update, but yet now it's like this, and it's just... Why? It makes no sense to what you've done this for. But hey, there we go. That's wargaming, isn't it? Um, yeah, I've probably rambled on for long enough now, so... I'll thank you all for watching or listening to this ramble about this utterly bamboozling update, and goodbye.